Hi clarinet players, in this video I'll be showing you how to finger the five new notes that you have in Fur Elise. The very first note is called the G sharp and it's the second note of the song. It comes right after your A. So we all know this is the A key and right next to it on the side is what we call the A flat key. Now A flat and G sharp are the same sound. So I'll turn so you can see how I play it. So my fingers stay over the holes. I use the side of my finger to play the A key and then the G sharp key. And it's funny, this is the key that when you're, uh, when you're in fourth grade that I'm always saying, don't knock into that key because it will prevent all your other notes from sounding. But in this case, when you play the G sharp, you're only playing this key. I'll do it one more time. So it's just a slight movement in your hand to go from the A key to the G sharp key. The next note is also on line one. It's in the second measure, it's the low note, and it's a low F, as some of you may have learned it. So we're playing low A, low G, and then the F key is the lowest key on the top, and it sounds like this. Now, for some of you, for, for many four, uh, fifth graders, the challenge is not to move these other fingers off the holes when you go to reach this. If that is too much of a stretch, there's another way to play it. With your left pinky, there are three keys. There are two on top and there's one underneath. That is also, if you see when I press that down, it pushes down the F key. So you can also play the low F with, with this fingering. This one is more common, but I do often have younger students play this one um, if this one is just too uncomfortable. The third new fingering is also on line one. It's called the C sharp. You'll see your C with a sharp sign right before it. Now this, the C sharp key is right after your, your C hole and then there's this long key. That's your C sharp key. So I'm going to play you a C and then a C sharp so you hear the difference. It's very close. You, so that's why it's so important to always have your hand in a good position. So it's just right there. And that's why the clarinet was built this way. So everything's within a finger, easy finger reach. Um, the fourth new note is on line three. Um, you will see a, a B. Now this is actually a B flat, and the way you play a B flat is with the register key, not the whole, just the register key and the A key. Some people like to call it squeeze B flat, the register key and the A key. Now going from the C to the B flat, is a little tricky but if you notice we just that's why this that's the reason this key is kind of s sloped like this we just slide right up and it, this takes a little bit of practice to go from the C to the B flat it's hard to do it without getting a note in the middle um, and the last new note is on line five and you'll see a B but this is also a B flat. It's a low B flat. So it's thumb, one, two, three, and first finger, pointer. So you know how to play low B, like in, as in, in the bridge at Avignon. This is B. This is B flat. When we add a flat to a note, it makes it lower. You can think of a flat tire. When we add a sharp to a note, it makes it a little higher. Like if somebody says, wow, you're really sharp, it means you're high in intelligence. You can think of it that way. B flat. Okay. Um, 
the reason we know it's a B flat and not a B is because there is a flat sign on the third line at the beginning of every staff. Um, that might not make sense to you without seeing it, so I will make another loom video and point these notes out again so you see what they look like on the page and you understand about the flat sign at the beginning of every staff. Okay, happy practicing.